today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and beauty of committed marital love, and to add our best wishes to the words which shall unite Andrew and Lonnie in marriage. At this time, they wish to call Caleb up to share a reading they have chosen. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations were held riding in a car or over a meal or during long walks. All those sentences began with, when we're married and continued with, I will and you will, and we will. Those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe. And all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. For you have learned much from one another. Now you shall say a few words that take you across a threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. For after those, these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Now we would like to ask Mallory to come up to share a reading also chosen by the bride and groom. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. 
You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement, it is not the promulgation of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one that they are one tree and not two. Andrew and Lonnie, you are about to create something new, a marriage relationship, an entity that never ends. As you stand here today, are you now prepared to begin this commitment to one another? Have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Andrew and Lonnie, I would ask that you both remember to treat yourself and each other with dignity and respect, to remind yourself often of what brought you together today. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. When frustration and difficulty assail your marriage, as these do to every relationship at one time or another, Focus on what is still right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. This way, when clouds of trouble hide the sun in your lives and you lose sight of it for a moment, you can remember that the sun is still there. And if each of you t will take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. Andrew James Wagner, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? I will. Will you love and comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her, as long as you both shall live? I will. Leilani Marie Furrows, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? Thank you. Will you love and comfort him? Honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live. Olivia, Lexi, do you promise to love your mother and her new husband? Do you promise to support their marriage and your new family? Do you promise to accept the responsibility of being their children and to encourage them, support them, and accept them just as our Heavenly Father accepts us? Andrew and Lonnie have written personal vows they would like to share with each other at this time. I promise to treat you the way you deserve to be treated and love and respect you at all times. Since our lives intersected, I have been filled with joy, and I promise to do my part to make the rest of our lives together as joyous as possible. As your partner, you will have my loyalty, respect, admiration, and love forever. Olivia and Lexi, I promise to help guide you provide an example to you, which hopefully will help you as you begin your journey through life and treat you as mine. Bonnie? <laughs> Olivia and Lexi. <clears throat> Mommy promises that this family we are making will be one filled with joy. We will encourage you together and we will guide the two of you along the way. You are two of the most loved little girls and I promise that between Andy and I, you will never forget it. Writing vows is 
difficult as it is easy. Difficult because I can't find a way for my feelings to transcend into words. And easy because I will willingly and happily make any promise to you. You are my one in a million. I'll listen to you. I'll ease your strain. I'll dance with you through life. I'll play your game. I'll promise to hold your hand all day through the night and while we sleep. And I assure you, I'll never take you for granted. And I'll appreciate your great greatness because I see every last bit of it. <laughs> Andrew and Lonnie, since it is your intention to enter into marriage and declare uh, your consent as you've joined hands uh, before these witnesses, Andrew, please repeat after me. I, Andrew, take you, Lonnie, I, Andrew, take you, Lonnie to be my wife, to, be my wife. to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. If you please place Lonnie's ring on her finger. It's okay, this was rehearsed. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> this time, uh, Mr. Chuck Devins will perform a brief marital jig. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Place Lonnie's ring on her finger and repeat after me. I Andrew, I Andrew, take you Lonnie, take you Lonnie, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. Uh, as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Lonnie, take this ring. Lonnie, take that ring. As a sign of my commitment and fidelity to you. As a sign of my commitment and fidelity to you. <laughs> Lonnie, it's the old. With that kind of track. All right. If you'll please place that ring on Andrew's finger, left ring. Thank you. And repeat after me. I, Lonnie, take you, Andrew, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. Andrew, take this ring as a sign. Andrew, take this ring as a sign of my commitment and fidelity to you. Of my commitment and fidelity to you. Andrew and Lonnie, in so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, have promised your commitment to each other by these vows, and the joining of your hand, and the giving of these rings, by the authority vested in me by the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, sir. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Wagner. <laughs> Yeah.
that at Danny's Beachside Resort in Carlsbad, uh, in Lonnie's hometown. She was there with her two high school friends, um, Gina and Cotto, and I was there uh, by myself after a little golf thing with Kirk Streeman, and we started talking. And one thing led to another, and here we are. One thing led to another, and that's our story. There was lots of stuff <laughs> in between. All right. And after. What else would we say about that? There's so much. Um, this part can be cut out. We fell in love. We we worked up the biggest texting bill you can possibly come come up with. All right. You, yeah. I'll, we're gonna stop. And we're gonna take control of that. Yeah. Um, while Lonnie and I were doing our long distance relationship, we would have uh, text communications, probably two or three hundred per day. Um, and then at night, we would talk on the phone, sometimes for five hours. Uh, we've had a couple five hour phone calls while we were apart from each other. And while we were talking, we were texting. Texting and talking, but not while driving. <laughs> no. <laughs> Texting, talking, and driving would be difficult. And once we got uh, tired of the long distance relationship and After flying two weeks. all over the country to see each other, I moved to uh, California and after about two months, or we couldn't take less, it anymore. <laughs> I asked her to marry me, and here we are. One year and one week later. One year and one week. What else do we talk about? Love of my life. He's hot. Great with the kids. Does that matter to Um. Well, that's Edit. the out, the outside. <laughs> Bleep. What is important to me is not just your outer beauty, but your inner beauty. And there's many things that fall into that category. But the reason why I fell in love with you was because of your inner beauty as well. And one of the things I've noticed is your um, unique in trying to find the goodness in somebody no matter what flaws that they have and I feel like you focus on all of my attributes instead of my weaknesses <coughs> which feels good weaknesses, by the way. which is not true perfect that's not true that's not true too. but it's that it's not perfect it's perfect it's that and obviously your outer beauty and I wish you would give yourself more credit for everything that you are good at um, and everything that you provide. I love him for the way he looks at me and for the way that you see all the good things in me too and how, <clears throat> how good you are as a person, just how good you are. Like Your greatness is in how good you are and your integrity and your honesty and your communicativeness and your social abilities and your business mind and I could be here all night talking about the list of things I love about you. <laughs> well thank you babe. I know. And there's just like that one time, one in a million when you meet that person and you just know, and you don't always know up front what it is, all these things that are attracting you or what it is that's pulling you together, but you know that you have the chemistry. And that was how we were and are, and we just like were pulled together. It's almost like the universe was playing a game on a game set, and they went, these two are perfect, and put us together. We didn't even know what was going on. And so anyway. Kind of still do. Uh, and, and we just, you know, when you meet that person, you don't know what it is that's causing it, but you just go with it. That's the great thing. Both of us just go with things, and that's another well, it's a chemistry thing, I guess, ironically, and here we are, rolling forward and still just getting along and operating at the same pace and seeing life the same way and sharing reality and every and, every and all things, family, love, business, everything, and gosh, I'm mean, going to just think every minute, I just think every minute that we're together and that we found each other, and 
um, we couldn't get married fast enough. This was the fastest we could get married. True. Physically the fastest. <laughs> it's a business to take care of. This <laughs> the fastest we could pull this off. And I, I'm thankful. I'm going to change my name tomorrow. Well, maybe my name. Tomorrow Sunday, but. Cool. What else, babe? So my name is Jared Ingalls. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know me very well, but I've had the pleasure of knowing Andy for about two years now. Um, I've also had the pleasure of knowing Lainey for about a year and a half or so. Um, there's not really, you know, words to describe what I, you know, what I felt when I actually knew these people, uh, you know. Um, Lenny is one of the, you know, most uh, giving people I've ever known. She has a family, she has two girls, you know, everything else. Uh, Andy has really joined into that role, that father role, and I just couldn't be more proud of him. And I, I couldn't be more happier to say that I'm, I'm such an acquaintance acquaintance of Andy and I've uh, obviously got to know him, got to know Lainey through Andy and they're just such good people. Uh, I love them to death and I hope the best for them for the rest of their time. Thanks. Lonnie and Andy, let's see. It's been good news since I heard and I've never seen my girlfriend more happy, like just radiantly happy. And Andy, thank you for that. Um, and Lonnie, thank you for that. I uh, got to meet Andy the day before the wedding, <laughs> a little short, but I knew I already would love him because I definitely got a good and an amazing endorsement from the girls. Uh, Olivia and Lexi obviously opened their hearts fully and chose you, so chosen family. That's what Lonnie is for me and will always be. So we've met, what, I keep saying 16, 17, but I think you might have been 15. and. Uh, we delivered pizzas together, we water skated together, and we were roommates for like four years, you reminded me. And, uh, and your life, like in my life, you're that amazing woman who like just doesn't let anything stop her. And I just love you for being that, for being just capable and wonderful and vibrant and alive, fully alive. And it's just awesome to have walked this journey with you and to see you just radiantly happy and radiantly in love. And so I knew, Andy, that you would be this amazing person for my girlfriend to be that really, really happy. And uh, it's been a pleasure and a privilege to meet your family, to meet your friends, in mass, <laughs> all at once, and to come and be part of this beautiful joining. Today, I mean, just meeting your community and seeing that you were going to make this promise in front of as many people as possible that belong to you and that you belong to them and making the family belong together. And when you guys finished your vows and turned and came down the aisle and the four of you framed just so beautifully and you blended a family today in a way that I just totally privileged to witness. So thank you, and thank you for the fabulous time here. And uh, thanks, Andy, for having us come stay with your friends, because I really feel like that made us family. Because I knew I already liked you, and when I got the invitation to stay with your childhood friends, it was like, okay, I really like this guy. So it's been a privilege. I look forward to getting to know you guys more. I'm so glad I get to be at the next reception. And um, thank you. And thanks. I. I got a complete makeover. I wasn't banking on that one. <laughs> so thanks for the whole experience. And I'm just looking forward to continuing to be chosen family and sharing the journey as we go. So love to you both. Enjoy every moment. And I see that you are. So, and I love you. We'll see you soon. And you'll add it. <laughs> Anyways, Andy, um, I want to tell you guys from, from our family to yours, um, congratulations. Um, you deserve each other. Uh, you guys are great. Um, I know everything you said you meant well. Um, you've always been probably my best friend um, from uh, high school, grade school, to high school, to college, to here. Uh, we've made it, man, um, through, through all the good, all the bad. Um, we, we've, we've always been there for each other and continue to 
be there for each other and always will. Um, you, you've always, always been there and uh, definitely look forward to being there for any time you ever need anything. I'm forever indebted to you. Um, I, th I think you know that. Um, I, th I think Ashley and I both know that. Um, but definitely, like I said, definitely proud of you. Um, you. You picked a great girl from what we know in this short time. Uh, I know she picked a, the best guy possible. Um, the, the family and everything that you guys have uh, set up here is, is wonderful. And I definitely think uh, from a guy to say he wasn't sure if he wanted kids to know he wants to go in uh, head of steam, you know, and, and, and start a family right away like this is awesome. Um, we wish you nothing but the best. Um, I hope, hopefully, y'all get that phone call one day to hear that you guys are expecting, and that, that'll be that'll be more awesome news, man. So, but um, as you can see, with all these people here, man, you got a lot of love um, here for you, and we definitely definitely want to be there for you anytime you need anything, man. And um, uh, Anderson, do you have anything to say to, to Andy and Laney? No? <laughs> Sleep in your bed tonight? <laughs> Anyways, guys, good luck. And uh, Ash is out there waiting. Um, definitely good luck, man. And, and hopefully uh, five years down the road when you're watching this, ten years, whenever you look back and remember this night and know that um, something special started from, well, a year ago or whenever it was but this is one of the memorable nights as well that, that continued to make this make this relationship um, what it is today so other than that Anderson as you say deuce show me deuce deuce right here hands up deuce right good luck guys thank you bye to Andy and Lonnie I wish you the most happiness um I never thought that Andy would find the person that he was supposed to be with for the rest of his life, but the way he talks, he totally found that person, and I hope that you have awesome happiness, and best luck to you both. Love you guys. Hi, Lani. Hi, Andy. We love you. <laughs> Happy wedding. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, that's it. We love you. Hi, Andy. They had to adjust the camera for me because I'm a little tall. Kind of runs in the family, doesn't it? Wanted to say congratulations to you and Lonnie. And um, we know that we're going to miss you. We're not going to see you very often. You're going to be away from us, but keep in touch. And remember where home is. Remember where we do Christmas and Thanksgiving. And we will always do it on Andy time because we do everything on Andy time. But congratulations. We love you. Hey, Andy. Uh, Joe Moore here. Uh, my congratulations on your wedding today. Happy we could uh, be here. For you, uh, sorry you can't uh, make it to our wedding. We understand. Uh, no, no, no problem. Uh, but you guys are the pros now, so you have three weeks on us. So you guys are going to have a lot of marriage advice for us in three weeks when we get married. So congratulations, and it's clear from everybody in this room that you have a lot of love around you, and we're really excited for both of you. And. Uh, Hopefully we uh, see you where we see you, just like what mom said. Um, yeah. Uh, Best of luck, and we wish you guys nothing but the happy, but happiness. Good luck, guys. Hi, it's Olivia. Um, congratulations. Um, I love you, Andy. Um. Um. um uh, happy wedding and have a great time. I love you all. Uh, just wishing you um, congratulations and um, I love you, Andy. And you guys are really good for each other. Uh, <laughs> bye. 
I'm gonna go first because I'm gonna forget my Who likes Amy Grant? Wagner, I had slept in the pit a lot of nights for bullshit reasons. That's and I'm still point. here tonight. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Thanks for having us. The Big Fella Classic number 12 is outstanding. Have fun. Good Grant stuff. She's been typing it down a couple times. Uh, Topless Tuesdays. Check them in. <laughs> we are happy to be here at the Hamilton Country Club and having a great time with Steve. And this is the best. Congratulations <laughs> to you guys. We're having a ball. Uh, one minute game if you need him. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Scratch that. One minute away. We wish you the best. We enjoy ourselves. Good luck. All right, let's go. Wagner. Love you, buddy. <laughs> we can ever. So happy. So proud of you. So happy. Love you so much. And uh, look at the love here. Super happy. Anyways, <laughs> I, I was waiting for Alex. I said my piece. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Scott's turn. Yeah. Congrats again, Wag. Um, I talked to you, Wags. I talked to you earlier, um, but definitely uh, wish you well and uh, love to come out and spend time with your family out there. And uh, uh, definitely, like I said, would you really though? We really would. And and, and Kirk, if we could see Kirk Walker. <laughs> <laughs> if we could check a human being in luggage. Two beautiful daughters. Gorgeous. And, um, but I have to say, like, <laughs> I am very. Did you just say, don't you think that Andy looks so handsome tonight? So handsome. Gorgeous. Known you my whole life and never seen you so happy or so handsome. Warms my heart. Um, mm. you'll never throw pine cones at my lemonade stand again because now you're a grown ass man. <gasps> don't let the kids see that part. Love you. I love you, Andy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're totally ruining this. No, you you are. Jenny would be the lawyer who would take care. Of well, but then let me say that Andy, I am very proud of you. Okay. And um, is that better? Okay. I think that you are very dapper tonight, and Lonnie is a very lucky, beautiful lady. Dapper Dan. And um. I got teary-eyed during the wedding vows because you are so happy, and I'm just so happy for you, and I love you to peace. And thank you for including us on your special day. The end. God bless. Love you long time. Had a great week. Got to play a little golf. My son was home. We played Wednesday. We played Thursday. And I got to see him out here today. Um, Andy, Lonnie, good luck to you both. Um, you know, it's it's always emotional when one of your kids gets married. You waited the longest. Good luck to you both. We love you, and hope for the best for everything you do. Congratulations. Andy and Lonnie. Lonnie, welcome to the family. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so happy to be here today. And Elena is too. Best wishes on your life together. And the only advice I can give you is always wake up every day wondering what you can do to make the other happy, happier than the day before. We love you. Congratulations, what? Andy and Lonnie. I'm so happy to have you part of the family, Lonnie. And yeah. Olivia and Alexa. Lexi. Best wishes. I love you. Hi Andy. Say hi Andy. Congratulations you two. Andy, uh, marriage is a wonderful thing. It looks like you did it right. Lana's a wonderful woman. 
I've obviously married a wonderful woman, your sister, so uh, life's great. I think you'll enjoy it. Good luck. Congratulations. Love you. I love you, Uncle Andy. Congratulations to you two. You know I'm a man of few words. I love you too, and I hope you have the best times. Congratulations, Mommy and Andy. I'm really happy for you. Look like you're meant to be. I wish you many, many years of happiness. All right. Lonnie, I'm Uncle Tom. We haven't met yet, but uh, I'm sure we will before this evening's over. Uh, really excited for you and Andy. Um, Andy probably warned you about me. He, I'm the one that he probably thought was going to say the most embarrassing comment, but I'm not. I'm really excited for you guys and uh, for your girls. I think that uh, you really got a good catch there. And uh, Andy's waited a long time. I think he's uh, waited for just the right pick. And talked to him just briefly about you a bit. He seemed exceptionally excited. And uh, I'm really glad for you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful long life together. Congratulations to both of you.